It's an easy training day, Sina. Tell mama. Did you walk today? Yeah. No, you didn't go out today, right? Yeah. Why? Because? Don't be shy. It was was raining. And you wanted to ride bicycle? Yeah. But you didn't ride? Yeah. Because it's raining? Yeah. And what are you doing now? I'm drawing, Mama. What, what, so this is your... This is a... Thunder. And this one is? Rainbow. And this is... Look. Tree. It's an apple tree, right? Mm. You draw yourself. Yeah, mm, that's no person with that's bullets. Your apple tree. Mm. And there is a lot of apples, right? Mm. And that's so beautiful, Mikael. You want to go with me? Yeah. Then you wear your boots. Mm. Right, like Papa Pig, remember? If you want to go to walk in the rain, you need to wear <laughs> your boots. Yes. Good morning, guys. Mayon buntak, magandang umaga, everybody. And I'm greeting you from our farm here in Cebu province. And as you can see, I'm standing under umbrella because it's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> right, Mikael? It's very windy. You cannot drive bicycle, unfortunately. Windy. Look how windy is that. So strong wind. Yes. So, guys, yesterday evening the rain started here in our place and then it's like a low pressure, so it's not strong rain, but it's continuously and non-stop. Rain, like um, uh, raindrops, and we even get in the uh, messages on our cell phones that there is like... Uh, so we keep on getting messages that uh, there is like a um, red alert. In the Philippines, it means that like there is some colors of alert, so there is orange, red. So they are sending us red alert, like a uh, landfall because uh, continuously rain as per the forecast the rain will stop on the tomorrow morning guys so come here we'll show you mm -hmm. yes there are baby frogs look you see that one the... you see that that's a baby frog it's called dead pole and then it will it will transform after that to a frog and it's a lot look Mommy, mm. Mama, they're not biting? They're babies, no. They're like on the tail and body. They don't have yet Mama, hands. Mommy, they're not biting? Oh. They're not biting. Mom, look, they're biting. So here is our lemongrass. As you can see, growing. And I will take few. I will take just a little and be good for soup. Here, this one maybe. A smaller nano needs to be just a little bit. It's a big one, I don't need big. Something small, the small, and the big is left. How to divide? I don't want to take all the bush. So, here I got uh, lemongrass. I will wash it now outside. It's good for today. I don't need much. So you jump in the puddle without the boots and got muddy. So you go to sell like that to change your pants. Right. Careful. And I will wash our lemongrass, guys. So actually I noticed that the soil here is all brown. See, it's like the soil here in the area, it's all brown, like a clay. So it's not black, so it's brown. Just uh, if you're watching this moment, can you please advise me, comment down below, this brown soil is good for the vegetable garden or it's better black because it's all brown all, all over. So will it work? <laughs> will it grow something? It's like orange brown soil everywhere. Anyway, it's worse because I will cook this one. I will use it for my soup. I use it for my phone, guys. Fresh lemongrass from the farm. So for our lunch, guys, I'm cooking tinol and manok because I think that it's perfect uh, comfort Filipino soup, Filipino food for the rainy cold day. And then, especially I, I know now that I have uh, lemongrass here in the place 
fresh so I was so excited to put it and to cook so we will tie it like this uh, I learned it here in the Philippines that if we will cook lemongrass in this food we need to tie it before I was just putting and it was scattered and then I will pick up before eating but now I will tie it like this in a knot if you're uh, watching this you're not Filipino uh, use this uh, hack or how you call it tip when you're cooking tinolo manok with lemongrass so wait aunt is biting me so yeah like that the knot and then we will put it in the soup so i'm just adding some water to my um tinolo manok because it's uh boiling out and uh, before that i a little bit stir golden fry the chicken wings it's chicken wings today and with ginger garlic and onion so it was very good aroma and then i put water and then i'm removing impurities currently then i will add our ingredients so for the ingredients today i will use lemongrass and then sayote i don't have malangai so sayote and i like recently i tried uh, somewhere so i'm using it also i like to add cabbage in the end of cooking tinola manok it's very delicious and of course we will also add a lot of uh, onion chives and it will give a very delicious flavor. So let's do it. Yeah, so my tinola manok is ready and we will eat now with my son because my husband is working he's always working now trying to catch up with the loss what we had when the internet was completely not working and then i will show you guys here i think i didn't share yet in previous videos so this one we bought um the temporary solution at least we can uh, have some internet unless it's super strong wind because it's getting cut or sometimes fluctuating but it's better than nothing you know it's like at least there is some uh, some source for now so we're using mobile router with a sim card of smart because smart is stronger here than globe and zito and then so we set up a very long pole metal uh, i think it's called mesh i don't know honestly sorry i'm not so good in tech I'm not professional in terms so it's uh, intensifying the signal of the mobile connection very high in there yeah so it's weatherproof but sometimes when it's very strong wind it's when it's rain it's okay but when it's very strong wind the signal get uh, lost but fluctuating coming back and then it's connected to our router so it's like at least there is some connection for now we're grateful that at least the solution works because sometimes even this will not uh, help but for now it's helping Daryl can work at least um, a little bit better than it was uh, just directly from the router and me if I'm using that um, connection for our uploads what I'm doing for you guys here it's taking like maybe three four hours but at least you know at least I'm grateful that yeah sometimes four hours like that sometimes two hours but it's rare usually like around two four hours to upload one vlog but it's you know i'm very grateful that at least there is a solution that it is working and i didn't have to quit this uh, thing that i'm doing here with you so yeah I'm, i got a little bit relieved and uh, happy that this um, antenna <laughs> at least improves our situation the wind is so strong look at the banana trees but you know guys it's not typhoon it's called low pressure area and then there is no thunder so it's like just like with this rain like a drizzle but it's never ending non-stop i i noticed some based on observation this one day like all, all non-stop rain that i think we're not flat prone area just like 
our land slide because we are mostly flats here, land, uh, flat land. So it's okay. Yes, it's just sometimes a strong wind and it's really cold. I'm standing here, I just came out to show antenna. It's uh, really cold. Let's go back, let's go in the warm house and eat our delicious uh, comforting soup. I'm already expected. Oscar, what happened? Expected to try. Also guys, here look at our pumpkin. It's already growing so big. Another one. We already ate the previous one, if you remember from the first box when we moved in and the pumpkin was growing so fast. So we ate it. I shared it with our neighbor. Also I gave half to her. Half we ate it. I tried to cook it in Kutan Bisaya. It was, it was very, very delicious. Pumpkin makes a fresh uh, calabasa, salamica, aya, like when it's fresh. I, I think it was the freshest I've ever tried. And then now, look, another one grew and very fast it's like every overnight it's uh, doubling in size and next to that one there is another one small here So guys i want to show you this one i think i need to today because earlier when i was washing lemongrass and washing michael's feet it was so dangerous uh, accident i almost fell down which is i think very dangerous because when it was sunny or when i was doing laundry with soap i didn't notice it didn't happen but now because of rain this part you see the green one i think it's called algae right so i it's also this area we have here it's like a little slide maybe you cannot see properly like this but it's like a little uh, elevated so we have to go up or we will go from that side of the house go into the uh, veranda we need to walk like sideways so it's like a hill going down and yeah we can uh take through. i hope it's not yes michael wait for mama we can um it's very slippery see this one slippery it's like us who knows algae no it's like us slimy so i think now after lunch i will brush away this part because i'm afraid with michael will walk around accidentally uh, hope not i need to prevent so i will brush it i have brush i think i will brush away this algae just for our own safety and then when it's already good weather i will wash it i think properly with zone rocks see how this part very tricky guys even here look i need now to take a step this one it's slippery so i am just worried so we just finished our very delicious lunch the tinolo manok was so good i think when uh, lemongrass is so fresh it's also adding up more flavor and then i really like when uh, tinolo manok is to make with um, like wings or drumsticks it's a very nice the sabao is masarap so <clears throat> now we will go sit little bit in hot house outside with my son because he want to read some books and i got this uh, from our sarisari <laughs> sarisari store across they have this one table hot chocolate because actually i have the normal one that um before the tableas which you need to prepare like a pure uh, chocolate but it's finished and then i didn't manage to buy a new one yet and i was really craving because it's very cold see i changed clothes already so craving i asked daryl to check if they have what well, that's at least what they have the without milk the dark choco okay you're preparing your toys mm. dark chocolate tablea dark chocolate drink made in the philippines yes it says made in philippines cocoa powder non-dairy creamer sugar and, and some chemicals anyway it's better than nothing so i really want to do this now because i feel cold we're here in our hot house right Mikael? so you want to read the book with mama what do you want to read about fairy tales Okay. Let's see. What, what's with that book? A bee. Mm. This one. This is Fairy Tales book. You want to read a little? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so we have here in the mouth. What do we choose? The lion and the mouse? Mm. Or different? Different. Tak, maybe three little pigs? Yeah. Your favorite? Three little pigs? Okay. Mm. Let me try the first the hot chocolate. But I think it's better when it's the pure one. I will try first. Yummy? I didn't try it, but it's nice because it's very cold now, right? We're not even sweating today. Yummy? I don't know. Yummy? It's too sweet, guys. It's really better pure tablea, pure cocoa powder than with some already. With some brand because... Powder. No, it's too sweet for me, for my taste. Yeah. I will drink it now because I was really craving for hot chocolate tablea, but in future maybe I will... Um, buy the real one your there is also the cocoa powder but too much sugar for me to sweet it's like over uh, the flavor is more on sugar than on the blue mm -hmm. so oscar so hold it hold it we need more usually daytime here is very hot and what's the name it's a lot you see it's a lot big layers it's actually falling quick because when we just moved in, I already cleaned up one time here. And then uh, sometimes I'm doing laundry in here. It's forming very fast from this water. So now we try to remove it. It's a lot. But calm now. Especially this part. So deep, mainly. I'm going to try Oscar. Uchadi, Oscar, uchadi. Riazno. So it's already almost 6 p.m. So after a few minutes, a couple of minutes, there will be no more uh, daylight. So it will be completely dark here in our farm. And then it is so cold. Look at me. I'm like, <laughs> I'm as if I'm not in the Philippines. And then I wanted to show you. Look at these strong winds. Look at these strong winds blowing. I hope you can hear me well. And you know, so. Even in our forecast, it shows the wind sign, so I think the night will be very cold and very windy. And we will go a little stay inside because it's quite cold here. Nicole, why do you have flashlight? It's not so dark yet, baby. You cannot see. Mama can see, though. You cannot see. I will make you in there. So thank you so much, everyone who watched our video today, and then comment if you want to tell me something or to advise in the description uh, comment down below and then if you want to reach me out or help us you can email me there is a mail in the uh, description box down below and i hope you can hear me it's so windy i don't have microphone for now i will wait the wind is so blowing So I want to wish everybody as much as, as long time as you can stay on the positive vibes and just um, think about our life that it's an adventure with its um, flaws and everything will be fine. Okay, let's stay safe, stay happy and stay kind. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you here in the next video. Bye. Say bye bye, Mikael. You will dig now? Yes, you can see. I'm not afraid now. You're not afraid because there is flesh? But you also have Oscar. Oscar will encourage you to be brave. Right? Your friend.
Ayo, 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 ayo